Four minutes in, 2-2 two, two the score. Very Four in top game. lane. Yeah, Arise should be okay. Waveform, he's still pretty tanky. He's got a four-man shield, and they do miss the Shadow Wave. It's not going to matter, though. Morphling gets the kill using the Adaptive Strike. Fluff almost dies to the tower. Sexy Bamble will take the aggro off, and they do get the kill. There's going to be the Avalanche Toss combo onto Sing Sing. Still pretty tanky. They even throw Pnaldic. Their body blocking the cast will come through. They have to put so much effort into getting this kill, and MDL almost goes down. The Toss will finally Whoa. stifle him and block him from getting this kill on MDL, but that was a lot of work. <laughs> That's maledict in action right there, though. Thank God. That was uh, 250 damage. You know, coming up. He has to wait for him out. Can't really fight that with the amount of HP that he currently has. Fluff walks through and just gets blown away by a bunch of creeps and some right clicks. The axes will actually secure the kill for a rise. Pretty nice play, although Fluff may be walking the wrong direction. I mean, it's very even. It's four to three at this point in time. Necroman is actually getting chased down. Sing is probably <laughs> going to get this kill. Yep. I think he knew he was dead and he threw a toss just for a lasso right there. Dead. All right, I need to get some success. <laughs> I need, some I need gold my gold. Speaking of needing things, are you in need of a uh, dark artistry set for Invoker mod? Dude. A lot of movement, though, coming out. Is Kaipi are going to try to engage top? Okay, there's gonna be the war. They'll try to turn on the Bambo here, but I don't know about this fight coming up for question mark. They're gonna have a lot of heroes here in the next couple of moments, and here they come. Vacuum wall on the ground, burrow strike onto a couple of heroes. TP out from Bambo. He will make it away. On the other side, Sing Sing is going to work on the MDL. He'll get the kill with the quill sprays. And now Arise is left on his own with a burrow strike, providing 3 3 a double kill, and Kai P turn it around. A very excellent fight, losing nobody. Until Necroman comes up and finds Sing Sing, the Bristleback, Necroman seemingly coming out of nowhere and picking off that Bristleback in high range. Meanwhile, the smoke comes in 3 3 will spot Necroman. This is a huge kill if they can get it. They're wrapping around, pincering between two sides right now. Ghost Ship is going to go with a torrent. Epicenter, they're throwing everything. Can they get this kill? Sing Sing's even coming in, and they will find it. It requires two ultimates and some extra damage from Sing, but here comes the rotations to try to get something out of this. The war will go. Sing is going to be a tough target. They're looking to turn this. They've dropped the wall on the ground. Sing Sing, Bro strikes up now. They're looking for Pwn. He's going to pop the neck. There's the vacuum back in. The torrent comes through. They get the grave off, though. Sing should be okay for the time being. Bambo chasing after him. on the other side. 3 3 might be the martyr here. Costing Valley doing some nice damage, but that should be the end of it. Well, Bambo might get chased down. If they have any way of catching him, it looks like he might just TP the torrent. Or not. I thought Ake had it up, but his activation there. I don't think the combo quite hit, but they still killed him nonetheless. Yeah, they'll take the tower for a victory lap. Alright. top tower has fallen. Damn. Bone 7 is still just sitting down here. Like, no fear. Roar is still They're six seconds away, though, so they can't really do anything. He doesn't have replicate. He might have stayed too long. But he, uh, he definitely did. He's got plenty of strength, and he's going to run out of mana here momentarily. And it doesn't even matter. They can just shoot through all of that damage with the Iron Shell, with the Roar of the Axes. That, that, that was a little... I want to start pushing into this Tier 2 Tower bottom trend. Yeah, and Necroman went back. He, he got the Blink Dagger. He's got a couple kills off. Oh, oh nice. the Avalanche on it, too. Into the vacuum wall. This is what you talked about earlier. Epicenter getting channeled ever. But there's the Nectar. Still so tanky. The Death Ward coming through. On to 3 3. The toss up. Necroman's low. Not dead yet. They're trying to keep him alive. The relocate out is there. And Sing Sing now looking to do it pretty much on his own. He's getting that lower and lower in though. HP. You can see the damage he's taking right now. The Illusion's hitting him. The cask is there. Is it enough? The Grave gets off in time. It's not going to be enough to bring him down. There's going to be the Tiny Blink in, back. and he's got the Blink Dagger ready to go. The Get the Avalanche Toss combination off onto that poor Dazzle. Too squishy, and that's it. What a fight. Uh, meanwhile, bottom lane Ghost Ship's going to come through. Hits MDL as they relocate. Rest in peace, Bluff. Avalanche hits onto one, but not both. Sandstorm comes through. There's the X marks. Meanwhile, Arias does get that kill onto Dazzle in the mid lane. I was too busy watching this chase happening. Yeah, it looks like Bambo will end up getting out here. This is some clowny jukes. Uh, well, that's all happening. They're, they're, that's drawing their attention for Kai P. They're getting their tier 1 tower taken here. And finally, some of the objectives are starting. Meanwhile, Necroman did find Bambo, and Necroman gets the kill. I thought Bambo was going to live. Nope. Mm -mm. No. It's not going to be denied. Bone is looking to try to get some heroes here in the meantime. Here we go, though. Ake smoked up. The roar will come out. Fluff is going to get caught, but the burrow strike immediately to stop this combo from happening. Here comes the ghost ship. Supply through as well. Bones have looking for Ake to death ward. Adaptive strike to stop it. 
They'll at least take one down, and that's the support. But here comes Necroman. They've re relocated it, and I believe, and now they're looking for more. FP Center getting channeled in the tree line, but it's only going to hit on Arise. And they've already lost two on a Kai P. Meanwhile, Arise getting low. Not dead just yet. The mech keeping him alive, but he will fall. Sing stacking up the Warpath, as well as those Quill Sprays. It's a three for two exchange. Still coming is going to be MDL who has to walk after that relocate is done. Need to save up against the uh, the Tiny's first nuke. Only thing is, it's a little bit late. Like, he's still very firm for a Bristleback. It's pretty, especially because he wasn't really abusing agents at all. His oh, mid lane. He has walked up too far. Epicenter is getting channeled and he's going to go for it. He might get MDL out of this. Maybe Ake as well. But oh my I don't God, know if they he's going to get him more. Yeah, the mech comes out and that's going to be enough to save him more. They just sticked up. I don't even know if they mech there. Meanwhile, Waveform will go through. They will get Ake. And Bone7 is trying to finish off. Arise, they're not able to do so. Meanwhile, they do get another kill onto 3 3. Bone. Chasing after Bone 7 now. Chibi's guard, however, in the darks here now, so that, that's a new item. Uh, we're gonna see two teams clash. Bambo's gonna find an X Marks Glimmer Cape, but they get the war off. They have the gem of true sight, mind you, and they blow up Bambo. They're looking for Fluff next. And the Borslow is up. He's gonna try to go for the TP. I don't think he's gonna make it out. Vacuum there in time, tosses up, and we'll see you later. So they kick off both supports. <laughs> And uh, the smoke is not successful for Kaipi in the slightest. In fact, that might from the guard. They'll maybe have to wait for that to go down, but he actually just hits both seven. Necroman is just turning to whoever and hitting him. Meanwhile, the roar they found out at least the Sand King, and he gets blown away. No buyback. Sing Sing might be next. Back wall combo. The ghost ship is up. They have got the rum going, but the death ward Sing Sing is very tanky. They want to get this Rax. The cliff is now up, but they push everyone from Kaipi back. Sing Sing blow half health, so he's going to probably have to regen. You can see he's probably already back to the base at this point. He's in the well. Ethereal Blade comes up, but it might be too little too late at this point. His Bambo is going to fall next. And that might be it. The full set of racks gone down bottom. We'll see if they can get this racks mid with no glyph up and available. Bone 7 is going to go and look for that combination. will find MTL, but he's got the raindrops and now Sing as well as Bone 7. Bone 7 replicates towards the mid lane. That's how much trouble he was in. Sing Sing inevitably gets dropped. He's down for 55, and there it is. GG is called. Well played from question mark there, Trent.